In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the St. Vincent Liam de La Paz and companions, martyrs in Vietnam. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, the source and origin of all fatherhood, you keep the blessed martyrs, Vincent Liam de La Paz and companions, faithful to the cross of your sons, even to the staining of the, their blood. Through the intercession of us, to express your love among our brothers and sisters, that we may be called and may truly be your children. We ask this through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his splendor. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a haunt for demons. She is a cage for every unclean spirit, a cage for every unclean bird, a cage for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, with such force will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians, flutists and trumpeteers will ever be heard in you again. No craftsman in any trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of millstone will ever be heard in you again. No light from lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again. Because your merchants were the great ones of the world, all nations were led astray by your magic potion. After this, I heard what sounded like the loud, the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her harlotry. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. They said a second time, Alleluia! Smoke will rise from her forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. 
Come before Him with joyful song. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Know that the Lord is God. He made us His we are, His people, the flock He tends. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name. Blessed are those Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. For He is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Please stand. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it. And let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment when all the scriptures are fulfilled. For the pregnant woman and nursing mothers in those days, for the terrible community will come upon the earth and the rightful judgment upon these people. They will vow by the way of this word and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles and Jerusalem will run underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled there will be signs in the Sun the moon and the stars and an ordination will be dismayed Revealed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the sons of men coming in a cloud with the power and great glory. But when this time began to happen, St. Eric and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Today, Jesus of the today, Jesus speak of the destruction of Jerusalem and the terrible consequences for all who are living there. He goes on to speak of great disturbances in the cosmos that will bring fear to people everywhere. Yet just when all it at it darkness, Jesus declares that the sons of men will appear in, in all his power and all glory, bringing redemption, liberation to all who welcome his coming. Brothers and sisters, there are times in our lives when our own world can appear to be falling apart, disturbing even heaven over with have little 
or no control in our life. Even sometimes we can be tempted to let the darkness envelop us. We can be left shaken and frightened. This gospel today is reminding us that it is above all in such moment when we are most aware of our vulnerability and frailty that the Lord is close to us, close in our life. He stands by us in His risen power, giving us strength in our weakness. His presence has the power to liberate us from our fears and to give us the confidence to stand erect with our heads held high in the words of the gospel reading. This is the hope that our faith gives us. We never lose that hope even a great darkness comes over our lives. The Lord is always present at the heart of any darkness in which we find ourselves, and He is the way. He is always at work to bring us to the salvation. I remember in the Saint John, the Gospel, Jesus said, He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And then we remind, we celebrate today Saint Vincent de La Paz and his companions, and also Saint Andrew Dunlap, martyrs. They are martyrs. And then they live, they have faith, they have hope, they have journey. The first is Jesus. Sometimes money, sometimes relatives, maybe sometimes our materials can save our life. But Jesus is the first. He is the salvation. He is the highest salvation in our life. The brothers and sisters, our reflection today, the first, Jesus is our hope and our salvation in our daily life. And then the second, sufferings and tribulation are part and parcel of Christian life. They should help us to reflect on the earth, on the end of our lives and the final end of our world, and to live by the vision and values of the gospel. We can sharing agape love with others, rendering them humble and sacrificial service. Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, pray for us. Saint Vincent de La Paz, his companions, pray for us. Saint Andrew Dunlap and his companions, pray for us. Pray, please stand. As we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as the hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord that those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in 
the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and have us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Father, most holy, you save the gifts we bring as we honor the sufferings of St. Vincent and Companions. And with the trials of life, have us to remain faithful to you and to present our lives as an offering that is a blessing in your sight. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Saint Vincent and companions, brought like Christ, of Christ to glorify your name, so support your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the Bible based of shame to bear your witness to Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the world this gift. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they will become for us the body of blood, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was better and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for us for you, and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that a partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, throughout all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with branches our Pope and Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who valiantly live in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Vincent de Lapas and the companions, Andrew Dunglach and his companions, have pleased you to all the ages. We marry to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form, by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graces to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sins and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory, glory are yours now and now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer this other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by the one bread that we have received on this feast of the holy martyrs, we beg you, Lord, that we may remain in your love and through passion inherit your promised reward. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
blessing of bread in honor of the Saint Martyr the Porus. Blessed are you, Lord God, who have so all creatures with your blessings. Hear the prayers of these your servants, that whenever they eat this bread in honor of Saint Martyr the Porus, they may be blessed with your heavenly blessing the driving always for with it what is holy. They may continually grow in charity, grant this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our six brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that it's your knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask thee to Christ our Lord. Amen. In memorial of the mystery of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. May this rosary, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.